Hey folks, as promised, Marcel back again. And today we're gonna talk about NAC, uh, or Glynac is the supplement uh, as it's sold at Do Not Age, which is the one that I take. NAC was recently banned the past couple years, about two, three years ago, and it was made an exclusive drug because you can treat so many things with it. Sounds very familiar, I know. Uh, about a year later, I believe, after that FDA ban or definition, um, it was overturned or they basically backtracked. They were threatened with legal action and they backtracked tracked on it. There was also a citizen petition for NAC, just as there is with NMN. They came up with a policy of enforcement discretion, which basically means they look the other way. NAC can remain a drug, but also remain a supplement. Now, NAC has been on the market longer than NMN, but I'll get more into that in a minute because there are some other advantages that NMN has at remaining a supplement over NAC even. The conditions that have been found in many studies to be treated positively with positive outcomes with NAC include overdoses, Tylenol overdose. That was the big one. That was the big motivator for the FDA to make their move. But also other addictions, alcohol addictions, drug addictions, marijuana addictions. It's also been found in many studies to be helpful for upper respiratory infections, colds, flus, viruses, as we've had around the world the past few years. NAC has been used successfully to reduce the effects of it. Also bronchitis, asthma. Basically, it reduces the mucus that gets into the lungs, helps you breathe better. It's also uh, useful for uh, improving insulin sensitivity for diabetes sufferers. Also, liver cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, male fertility, muscle performance, and leaky gut. So again, we've got a molecule that was being sold in the hundreds of millions of dollars as a supplement successfully, and it still is, fortunately, that the drug industry tried to stake a claim on. Fortunately, they were unsuccessful with it. This is kind of a blueprint supplement for NMN. The attacks on NMN mirror what happened with NAC. Now, NAC is sold, as I said, by Do Not Age. That's the one I take. You can get it there. You can save 10% with my code, The Pulse. By the way, it's a very affordable supplement. You can take Glynac, which combines these two, glycine and NAC, which, by the way, stands for N-acetylcysteine. And you can get both of them for about 50 cents a day or less if you order more capsules. So it's quite affordable considering the health benefits of it. As far as side effects go, there are a couple important side effects to keep in mind. The two that have been talked about, I also did experience. Now, I started taking NAC or Glynac about nine months ago, and I started taking it around midday just by default. And then over time, I kept hearing about all of these health benefits of NAC, and I decided to double down and take it again in the evening. But then I did start to notice when I, when I researched side effects, I did notice a couple that I was also having, not to great extent because I'm overall so healthy now that I really don't feel side effects much at all, but I did notice there was some limiting effects of my coffee drinking in the morning. And it has been shown, NAC has been shown, uh, to cause stimulant suppression. So if you're drinking coffee or intaking any type of caffeine stimulants, that effect of that, maybe a desired effect usually, right? You want to perk up in the morning and you want to be sharper. That can be suppressed by taking NAC. Also, mood leveling, okay, because you'll have, and I believe that's why the addictions, it's so uh, successful treating addiction, because the lows aren't as low, but the highs aren't as high. So you're just sort of in this sort of level mood. You're not experiencing euphoria as much. So what I did, and what many people are doing, is I reduced it back down to one capsule, which, by the way, is 600 milligrams of NAC, 600 milligrams of glycine. I take it in the evening, and this has helped me tremendously. I started this about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and the past month, I've just been feeling great. Ever since I made that change, I definitely my old self, and I think my videos express that. You guys have seen that I'm, I'm back to my hyped up happy self. I think what happens is you take that in the evening, most of its effects... Uh, on your mood or our stimulants happen would happen later when you really don't need stimulants in the evening. You want to sleep, and I have been sleeping quite soundly. So might want to consider making that change if you're taking it midday. Try moving it later in the day. Let me know in the comment section your result from that change if you do make it. Now let's get into a little bit of the similarities uh, between NMN and NEC. NEC 
as I said, combines with glycine and it creates glutathione or glutathione in the body. Now, glutathione exists in many foods. Let's look over a quick list. You can get it in spinach, avocados, asparagus, and okra. Uh, some of those, a lot of those have uh, pretty high levels of NMN as well. So it's kind of ironic that glutathione also exists in those similar foods. And some of them are the same foods. So it's almost like saying, you know, are we going to ban uh, avocados <laughs> because they're so healthy and they contain all of these healthy molecules? NAC was put back on the market because it is widely available in, in our bodies and our food supply. They felt like they might lose that case. Well, NMN is similar to NAC because you're creating NAD, but both NMN and NAD exist in the body and NMN directly exists in the foods already that we're hopefully eating enough of. So it's even one step up the chain, in my view, towards a natural ingredient existing in our food supply than NAC was, yet NAC got enforcement discretion. So I would think it looks as though NMN could also get such a, an enforcement discretion based on this sort of template or track record or precedence set by the decision on NAC. Now, it's very important that you keep in mind that the supplement industry is fighting for the availability of these supplements. And I think that's maybe why I hear from so many companies, so many supplement companies, and so many people tell me, hey, you get it. And what I really think they're saying is the audience gets it. They're not just hearing what I'm saying, they're reading your comments, and that's an expression of this overall community. So the supplement industry really, and supplement takers, really are on the same page here and really need to be supporting each other to protect the availability of these molecules, like NAC and now like NMN. Um, I'm still hopeful that we're gonna win this fight, but if you're a supplement company, or if you're a supplement company customer, I encourage you to lobby your supplement companies to join the Natural Products Association. Once you're a member of MPA, you can then contribute to the legal fund because that fund is apparently being readied right now for use because there has been some technically action taken. And I'm, I'm gonna try to get more into this. I mention a database. The database is called Legal Scripts. Probably never heard of it unless you're a doctor or unless you're a reseller. That is the database that supposedly, I have it on pretty good authority, supposedly was told by FDA that NMN no longer met the definition of a dietary supplement. And that was the trigger that caused uh, Amazon and then Walmart to remove it, and then uh, also YouTube, yours truly right here, to remove it from their ads and suppress channels that talk about that molecule, like this channel. So I take it very personally what's going on, uh, and I felt like it was a good time to sort of mention the legal fight mention that very likely, uh, I'm not going to call flat out call Carol Welch a liar, but what she said turns out to probably have not been the truth, or at least the full truth, that FDA did indeed take an action to remove NMN from the marketplace prior to responding to the citizen petition, which they were required to respond to, uh, and I believe it was 180 days, they never responded to it, and basically they granted themselves an extension on responding. They said they needed more time to consult with their attorneys, with their legal advisors, but here we are. You know, NMN remains on the market, but halfway off the market, like it has been removed. And it turns out that FDA did instruct through legal scripts, which is a database which lists uh, supplements which may or may not be sold. I believe it's a listing of supplements that are flagged, but I don't know if they also list supplements that are allowed to be sold. I don't have yet all the details, so I'm going to follow up more on this legal scripts issue. That was the chain reaction that took place between FDA writing that letter, legal scripts, putting it on a list, 
and basically it being removed from certain retailers and social media platforms. Now, what's interesting is last summer, they changed the wording on their definition of NMN and said it may not meet the definition of a dietary supplement. That was last August. Yet, Legal scripts didn't change anything, at least not yet. I'm starting to hear some rumblings that we may soon see a return of NMN to Amazon. I know that is not a popular move with many of you because people like myself had taken a fake NMN off of Amazon and they don't police fake supplements as well as they should. We feel they should. They certainly, I think, had about 60 or 65% of their NMN was either found to be fake by a third-party testing lab, or it was not what the bottle said it was. So we're not all fans. I'm certainly not a fan of Amazon selling NMN, but it sets things into motion for potentially NMN to be officially returned to the market. Keeping an eye on the situation very closely, listening to all of the rumblings behind the scenes that I can, sharing what I can without naming names or getting anyone in trouble or trying to, or actually doing any harm to the case. I don't want to cause any harm. These are just bits of uh, information that I've got from very good sources, and I've shared these types of things before, and they've, they've been proven accurate. So uh, hopefully we're on the right path here with... Yes, NAC, we already are on the path. You can get that easily, but hopefully NMN soon as well. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments.